Welcome to the Film Junket Podcast. Because I don't know if you guys knew this, but uh, yeah, I play I play the uh, the theme song. I mean, obviously, when I edit it, when I put it together, I you know I just put in the song when I edit it, when I edit the the video slash MP3 that I upload to SoundCloud. Um, I do play right here because it makes me feel like I have an actual show. One day, guys. One day. What's happening, guys? Dave the Film Junkie here. Ah, oh, it's gonna be a short. It's gonna be a short podcast. I'm not gonna probably talk for an hour. Of course, I say that now, hour later. Okay, guys, I love you. Thanks for. I oh, know that's probably what's gonna happen, right? Now, I gotta keep it short because hey, I just got work to do. <laughs> I'm just like whew, trying to figure out, like, oh man, trying to find time. It's just time, I tell you. Day job. I mean, when you're when you're gone ten hours a day, it's hard. It's rough. And then uh, you know. Just to keep shit going. I mean, it's a lot of discipline, man. I mean, it keeps me going. It keeps me, like I said, disciplined. I mean, discipline is what a lot of people need. And I'm not talking about like, oh, you're disciplining somebody. No, just discipline within yourself, which is always great to have. You need that. That's why, you know, I've told you about like, oh, my, you know, my diet. I do meat and veggies all week as much as I can. And Friday is my cheat day and blah, blah, blah. You know, it's just having that discipline is great. It really is. I mean, I mean, for dinner tonight, I had a big old fucking top sirloin with an avocado. Slice that avocado in half, put some fucking black pepper on that shit. It was delicious. Absolutely delicious. But, uh, you know, got to keep that superhero body. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's just stuff like that. You just got to be disciplined, and that's why I try to remain. It's hard, though, because I do have the procrastination bug that happens with me sometimes. It's a weird process, especially with the video like the D23 video that I'm working on, which I've told you guys about, where uh, Mr. Justin and I, midside, went to D23. He had the sign release Snyder Cut. And uh, we went there to talk to people about that. Like, uh, and that was uh, two weeks ago. This Saturday would be two weeks. Not a big deal. I mean, I, I knew it was going to take time because you had to sift through a bunch of footage. I mean, we were out there for, you know, we got out there like, what, 8.30? Didn't leave till like after noon, probably about 1 almost. It's a lot of footage to sift through and try to just piece it all together. Not to mention, you know, we're amateurs. Uh, even though my buddy who, uh, my buddy, uh, who brought the, the gear for us you know it's really awesome and i thank him for that but you know uh it didn't fully work out i mean there's a lot of things when you're doing what i and i'm sure and it's just 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 me using my 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 logical brain here is when you do something like this when you go out and you're doing like a man on the street you're interviewing people you're doing you don't know what the fuck's gonna happen you just don't know you know you're out in the elements it's very easy to contain when you're inside a studio or whatever the fuck like, when I'm inside my shit, I know, okay, that's working, this working, that. Occasionally, I'll fuck up, and the microphone might, might be on, and blah, 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 whatever. But, um, you know, that's very easy to contain, and not to mention you could reshoot something or whatever. But, uh, by the way, I'm still drinking my Pinot Grigio because it's still hot. My God, man. It's gotten humid again in SoCal, and it's like, fucking A. If you're going to be humid, at least bring us a thunderstorm or two, please. So, yeah, I got to go for the white cold wines. Um, anyways, so, you know, when something like that happens, you just never know. Equipment might not work. Something might not work. You might not get certain things. And that's what happened. I mean, we had, like, uh, wireless mics or, well, you know, you know, the little pack that you put in your back pocket or whatever the hell, and then you have the mic clipped on. And sometimes it was just cutting out. So, I... I I've found myself having to sift through the footage and then go, okay, what works, what doesn't. I'm going to have to jump cut right here. I'm going to have to do some voiceover, which I haven't recorded the voice. I mean, I'm probably about 85, 
percent done maybe even more maybe like 88 or something like that i'm pretty close to being done i pretty much got it all i mean it's gonna be almost a 20 minute video it's probably gonna come around 18 19 minutes which is what i was expecting you know i didn't want it to do like a full-on like half hour video about all this i mean we didn't have enough interviews with people that's the thing it was another thing too is like we were hoping to get a lot more people but it just wasn't happening we realized that, like, you know, about an hour in, like, this is not going to be as much, there's not going to be as many people that we would have gotten at Comic-Con, for sure. But, um, you know, it was still fun to do and stuff. But, uh, yeah, so now I'm just, I, I've pretty much pieced it all together. Now i got to add voiceover and then tweak. I actually already, it's funny because usually you add the music last, but for some reason I started adding the music already. And then it was just like, okay, now I just got a voiceover, and then I got to make sure that's streamlined nicely with the footage, and uh, everything sounds good. Tighten it up. I mean, I already pretty much tighten up all the sound, make sure, you know, it doesn't just all clickety click or blah blah, you know. So I just got to do that, and hopefully it'll be up Saturday, guys. But no guarantees. I have the next three days are busy busy so it might be up sunday for sure if not saturday it will be up sunday because basically what's um happening thursday tomorrow uh, maybe you'll see it chapter two my sh my uh my show showing is at five o'clock but it's a fucking three hour movie guys it's a three hour movie so i'm not gonna get out of that thing till like eight so i'm not gonna be home till about eight forty five because i'm going to the theater with a bunch of friends so it's not the theater that's right around the corner. So it's it's going to be a little, you know, yeah, I'm going to be home pretty late. And I kind of probably should just record my review and try to get it going. Because then I got Friday, when I get off work, I mean, I get off work, I'll be able to come home and do some stuff a little bit. And that's the thing, though, is like, I want to get my IT review up. And that's, a, that's another thing. It's like, I have my day job. Of course, it swallows up about 10 hours of my day. And then, of course, I got videos to keep up on. You know, if I had just concentrated fully on this, I would have already been up by now. But, um, so, I'm going to get home, probably, who knows. And I don't even know if I'm going to have time because sometimes, you know, Friday traffic. And uh, I do have to run an errand on Friday. And I don't know. We'll see, we'll see what happens. But um, then I'm supposed to have dinner with my dad uh, and his new girlfriend, who I've already met. Um... We're supposed to have dinner, so I gotta leave here and get to dinner in a fucking, oh man, through like Friday rush hour traffic, which sucks. So I gotta go to dinner, and then I'll come home, and then by that time, it'll be probably close to the vodka stream time. I'm still gonna do a vodka stream, and, uh, and then, yeah, and then that's it. So I'm not gonna really have a chance to work on it Friday at all. So then we got Saturday. I'll be able to work on it. I probably just got to wake up, make sure I don't sleep in too late, make sure I'm not too hangover. <laughs> yeah. Well, if I, I'm definitely gonna do a vodka stream because I noticed that when I when I do a bourbon stream or Jameson, blah blah blah. Yeah, you know those ones. They'll, those ones give you the little bit of a hangover. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit more. Vodka is nice to me. That's why I like vodka. That's why I love vodka because it's. No, I don't get. I don't really get hangovers, but the bourbon, that wild turkey that I had over, you know, for for the stream and everything, yeah, I woke up Saturday feeling pretty shitty. <laughs> Let's just say I was like Burger King waffle sandwich, hash brown bites, mocha iced coffee. Yeah, I, you know, Saturday was also a cheat day for me for sure. Um, but anyways, so, uh, but Saturday, uh, then I'm gonna have to leave. Because we're going to the Giants-Dodgers game. It's a tradition. It's a yearly tradition that we always do because my brother and I and my nephew, we're Giants fans. We're San Francisco Giants fans. Our dad is a Dodgers fan. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much um, what's going to happen. We're finally going to get to our game. It's scary. I'm not going to lie. I, I look forward to it because it's just something that we do. But I also, you know, it's also a little scary because you never know what's going to happen because Dodger fans can be douchebags. They can be douchebags. Yes, I've had guys talk shit to me. I've had guys fuck with my hat. And there was one time where we went to the game where the Dodgers clinched the playoffs. 
Whew, that was rough. Just totally getting berated. Fuck the Giants! Fuck the Giants! Oh, man. It's, it's, hor- it's horrible. It could be bad. I mean, I literally had some guy, like, stare me down, and then his wife was all, stop doing that. And he was all, I don't know how to fucking do that. He just started cussing to her about me just because I was wearing Giants gears, gear. I was wearing a jersey and a hat. It's just like, God, we come in peace, man. We're just here to watch a fucking baseball game. Can you fucking relax, please? I mean, remember what happened to that one Giants fan? He got beaten to a coma. I'm not saying that Giants fans, they're probably dicks too up there in San Fran. I don't think they are really that much, but there are a lot of fans that are dicks. It's just they take it too goddamn seriously. It's pathetic because, hey, guess what? You're not playing the game, you fat fuck. Have another Dodger dog and another beer. Good God. Anyways, so we're going to do that, and that's going to be late into Saturday. And then, yeah, Sunday, for sure, it's going to be up by Sunday. I'm going to try to get up Saturday, but it's most most likely going to happen Sunday because, like I said, just trying to just piece it all together and just like, okay. And then, like I said, I was, when it came to this weekend, um, like I said, I woke up feeling shitty. And it wasn't just, it wasn't just, um, it wasn't just, I think something was trying to get me, like a little virus or whatever the fuck. It wasn't just being hung over because, um, you know, I had... And then it was funny because I had an unexpected visitor show up Saturday night and then drank, 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 woke up a little hungover, but I also felt just, ugh, felt achy and blah, blah, blah. So Sunday was kind of a bust for me. Um, I was supposed to meet up with some friends, but didn't because I just was not feeling good. Um, so, and then Monday, that's when I really, I mean, I was already, I already started digging through the footage, just looking at it all. But Sunday was when I was like, okay, that needs to be in that. I was just basically going through it all and going this, use that. Just kind of just dragging over pieces, dragging over pieces. Going to use that, going to do that. And then uh, and then I started kind of piecing it together and started going, okay, let's, let's bring up the audio here. Let's do that. Let's do this. So, and then last night I was working on it and then today I was working on it. It's coming along. It's coming along. You know, like I said, it's going to be about an 18, 19 minute video of everything and uh you know a lot of good moments it's just uh yeah so we'll see what happens but uh there you go there's all that so look forward to it but yeah it'll be uh i'll have a busy couple of three days coming up so and uh yeah and uh i'm not gonna go off on anything more about the snyder cut movement or nothing like that guys i'm exhausted i'm exhausted from it all i'm over it over it we all are Colbert, Garza, we're over it. We set our piece. Garza went off. Man, he went for the jugular in his podcast. Go listen to it. He went off. He went He he went for the jugular, man. I was kind of like, I was reluctant. I only called out a couple names. I was just like, okay, let's let's relax here. But we're, we're done. We're over it. Okay, um, nothing more. You know, it's funny because obviously we're blamed for being the, the shit starters, but... You know, how it all started was these guys just didn't like what we had to say when we reported shit. They just didn't like it, okay? So that was it. We were killing their hype. We were ranting on their parade, their party, and everything. So that was it. But then it was when the the, the accusations, it was basically what really started the shit, what really got me pissed off, was, well, when I have, like, some of the, the, the guys, you know, like Mr. Rollins and whatever, who else running Project Comic Con that are in my DM saying, hey, stop engaging, man. You need to stop doing that. And then I was getting pissed because there was other people that would just be fucking dickheads that are part of the Snyder Cut. I'm like, that that these guys defend. And I'm like, what the fuck? Are you telling these guys the same thing too? Or is it just because we have the bigger platform? So, well, we have this responsibility or what? And I think that was the case. And I think that, I don't know. It was weird. It was very strange. It's like, you're telling us to do that, but you should be telling them because we're the ones with the big platform that could really boost your shit. Me doing videos could help, you know? I'm not trying to pat myself on the back, but, you know, I worked hard to try to get, you know, over 30,000 f- subscribers. You got Colbert over at Screen Rant. It's a pretty big site. Support. Garza, he's come up pretty quickly with his stuff. It was just like, so maybe you should talk to them and not, okay. 
So that's where it kind of started brewing up. And then, and then it was just the allegations of like, oh, we're just doing this to, uh, it, it didn't even make sense. We're trying to spin, we're trying to hurt the movement, yet we're using the movement for clout and to further our careers. That makes absolutely no, I was thinking about this. I was like, that makes absolutely no fucking sense. And how can you be this dumb to think that it even does make sense? How are we going out of our way to hurt the movement, for, but then we're using the... I mean, I guess it's just because, like, we're... I guess they mean that we're working with the, the, the people that hate the movement? I don't know. Maybe that's the case. Because if I really wanted to boost my... If I really wanted to boost... My channel, I've just become an MCU stan. Just fucking stan the shit out of all those movies and shit on DC. But no, I don't do that. That's not me. Sorry. I just report it as it is. But yeah, yeah, just the accusations of that. And then, of course, the whole memes, jokes thing, which I'm still going, what the fuck? I've seen screenshots that were supposed to be tied to. And yeah, some of them are like, some of the shit, I'm like, that's stupid. But it's like, again, it's a 16-year-old, and I'm like, F- fuck off. And, and I know I keep getting the shit of like, oh, yeah, but you're taking donations. I'm like, if some stupid 16-year-old is donating to my channel, big whoop. <laughs> I told him, stop, because you're 16. Save your fucking money, kid. But he still did it, and I'm like, all right, thanks. I'll take your money. <laughs> fuck. But it's like, yeah. But then somebody tried to create a fake account of his got into my DMs to try to get me. It was very strange. I was like, oh, I didn't realize it at first. And I was like, oh, you, these guys are going that far to create fake accounts. Interesting. But we're over it. I'm over it. Tired of talking about it. You know, when it comes to the Project Comic Con stuff, uh, I was I was getting fed the negative stuff by people. And then all of a sudden, after every, like the, my last podcast, I got the opposite story. I got the, the positive story. Of it all. And it just made me realize that, hey, I'm not a part of this. I was supporting it. I'm no longer going to support it at all. This is uh, this is about you guys. You guys involved. You guys fucking work this out. I'm not going to work it out for you. It's all on you. You can take me right out of it. I'm done. It's been fucking annoying as shit. And I don't know what else these guys want. We have literally walked away from the movement. We're about the Snyder Cut campaign. The movement has turned into something that's moving backwards and it's just ridiculous tribalism, fanboy shit that I'm not, uh, I don't want anymore, okay? I'm just done. After the accusations of all that, trying to tie me to all that and I still have yet to see, because the first allegation was, uh, accusation, sorry, was that this person was made memes and jokes about Autumn's death. Then it changed to just, oh, he just made jokes about suicide. Oh, okay. So, but at first it was about this. Now you guys are backpedaling. Interesting. Yeah, because there's no such things. I kept asking. I kept wondering where the fuck these were. So, um, but yeah, if any of those guys are listening, guess what? We're done. We're outside of your bubble. We're done. We're still going to report anything that comes about, but it's looking like that's not. there's not going to be much more that's going to be happening for a bit. Snyder is really working hard on his movie right now. Um, and, yeah, I was waiting for an image of Desaad to show up. I was hoping that was going to happen. But <sighs> nothing has happened yet. So, But if it does, I will do a video about it. How about that? But that's about it. I'm not engaging with anybody. I'm not supporting anything, donating. If I'm going to donate, I'm just going to donate directly to the AFSP. And I actually say that if you're thinking about donating, do it. Just go right directly to that. Okay? That's, yeah, I would say do that. If you know where your money wants to go, it goes there. Um, so there. Yeah, there you go. It's just, it, we're done. We're done. No more. It's been kind of nice and peaceful. For all of us, because we just started blocking and unfollowing a lot of these people, and that was it. That's that's all you need. And I'm glad they're doing the same because, oh man, it was just I, I couldn't believe. I'm like I'm dealing with adults, guys that are older than me. It's crazy. Like what the fuck? 
This is ridiculous. Uh, so, there you go. Anyways, um, yeah, like I said, it's going to be a short one. Um, I don't know, there's not much I want to talk about. Um, like I said, it's just, um, just keeping it short because I need to work on, I got another video I want to do, which has to do with the, uh, the, uh, Kristen, Kristen Stewart thing, because I've always find it funny. Um, I always find it funny that, um, you know, when it comes to, and I get it and I, and, and any opportunity that we could shit on D DC or Marvel, that's fine. I'm all about it, but sometimes people just go way too overboard because they hate them so much, and I just kind of go, that's not, okay, do you realize that, uh, because the whole thing about Kristen Stewart was the fact that, I guess she had to hide her sexuality, which I thought, okay, apparently she's gay, or a lesbian, but I don't think she's full, I think she's bi, wasn't she with Robert Pattinson for a bit, or I think that might have just been PR, who knows, but uh, she said she had to do that. And because then she could get a Marvel movie. Hide your sexuality, you get a Marvel movie. And I'm going, um, okay. That's, um, no. No, that's not from Marvel, first off. It's not like Kevin Feige told her that. Hey, you, uh, you, you hide the fact that you're, uh, you got a girlfriend and then, uh, I'll get you a fucking gig. It's not, it's not from Marvel. This was from her people. This is why context matters. From her people, probably her agent, who said this, because Marvel, of course, is the big is the big boy in the block. There's actors that are dying to get a role in a Marvel movie, dying to. And uh, I don't think Kristen Stewart even wanted anything to do with it. She doesn't seem like she's the type to be in a superhero movie. I don't know. So there's that, and then um. You know, I see, of course, DC fans just going, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just kept getting annoyed when I saw people say that, uh, why is nobody talking about this? I'm all, yes, they are. You just are one of those people that want to complain about Disney and Marvel 24 fucking 7. See, that, this, I, I hate big time DC Marvel stands, and I hate the opposite, which are these guys that always just want to complain, complain, complain. Well, this wouldn't happen if it was this. Or yeah, 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 if it's this, yeah. And then it's just like, I kept seeing that. And I went, dude, the fucking, the, the story was a Twitter moment and it was trending. It was a variety article. A lot of people were talking about it. You just choose to ignore it or just avoid it. So then you could complain that no one is talking about it. God, I hate those type of people too fucking annoying and like i said this wasn't something like like right out of marvel but i mean they haven't done a good job <laughs> you know, when, when they <laughs> when they put when joe russo was the gay character in endgame what the fuck were they thinking well this is what they were thinking ah uh, doesn't matter it's still gonna make two bill <laughs> they didn't give a fuck they didn't give a fuck because they knew they knew they had your money already I just thought that was like ridiculous. Like, really, you're gonna you're gonna put this character in here and throw that? Oh, he's gay, but it it's it's the director. It's one of the directors who's not gay. <laughs> it's just fucking dumb. Just so stupid. I I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. But uh, whatever. But so I'm gonna do a video on that. But it's a little more complex in my normal videos. I don't know when that's going to be up. I might just toss it. Who knows? But, um, yeah, let's just relax people. Jesus Christ. I mean, I just, there are people that I like, I like to follow, but I'm almost going, God, I'm going to mute you because all you do is go for the negative. Like all the Joker, there's like Joker's getting praised up the ass, up the ass. But there's people that always want to fixate on the negative, the negative. You know, of course, there's going to be, like, film Twitters, you know, having a fit, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, what the fuck? Most of the critics are loving this movie. And they're talking about Joaquin Phoenix getting an Academy Award. But you're over here screaming at somebody with four followers who's, like, complaining that it's an incel promotion or whatever the hell for incels. And I'm like, stop. Stop, please. But, see, these people get off on that. 
That's the thing. It's like people get off on this shit. Why? Because real life is boring. I don't know. It's a lot easier to do that. You know, I've done it too. Sometimes, you know, I've gone after people just talk, quote, tweet angrily, you know, start getting in a debate. And I just realized that it's just, it's not worth it anymore. I've really, and you can go back to like some of my old tweets from years ago. I mean, especially when BBS came out, man, I was going after people like defending and saying this, saying that, you know. And then I think I just realized how dumb it sounded. And I'm like, I, I, well, I'm one of those people that likes all of it. I like Star Wars. I, I do like Marvel movies and this, that, and this. So I just got sick of it, man. I just got sick of it. It's just not fun. Like, I like make, like if I see something, I quote tweet it, and I want to do like a, a joke to make people laugh on my feed. That's what I really want to do. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, we'll see what happens. But yeah, if you want to uh, ask me a question, best way to do it is film junket podcast hashtag on Twitter. <laughs> so uh, yeah, then I gotta find the hashtag. Come on, where are you at? I know there's a hashtag somewhere in here. Oh man, well here we go. All right, guys. Like I said, it's the easiest way to do it, and I appreciate you guys asking me questions. Star Wars fan. Uh, Kala, Khalil, I always say your name wrong. Yes, I'm Fury. I'm infatuated. And do you, oh yeah, because he's infatuated with, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's fine. I, I get it, dude. It's fine. You, you really want to know who's going to be Catwoman in this new Batman. So he's got a couple images of, uh, Chloe, what's her name? Um, from Kick-Ass. And then I think, what is that? Vanessa Hudgens? Yeah, it's Vanessa Hudgens. And he's like, yep, they could fit. Yeah, I don't I don't know about Chloe Moritz, whatever the hell her name is. I don't like her, but Vanessa Hudgens I can get around. I don't really like Chloe, though, as Catwoman. Eric and Blake. Hey, Dave, if you could reach over to Earth 2 and snatch one film from the original Snyderverse lineup to bring to our world, but you can't pick any of Snyder's arc, what the fuck are you talking about? Or Batflex, the Batman, because reasons. What Snyderverse film would you snatch? Wait. One film from the original Snyderverse lineup to bring to our world, but you can't pick any of Snyder's arc. What the fuck does that even mean? I am very confused by that, man. Okay, so you want me to pick something from the Snyderverse, but it can't be... Snyder's arc. I'm lost, dude. <laughs> Can't be Batfleck. I'm going to skip that because you are you are trying to be the Riddler right there, man. That's just, I'm sorry. I'm not even going to think too hard about that. Frank in the fandom. What upcoming streaming apps are you going are you going to get? Disney Plus, HBO Max, any others? What do you think of the future of the streaming apps in relationship to new films, for example, Netflix partnering. Um, I think Netflix will be fine. They're going to see a hit a little bit. They're already seeing it. But I think they'll be fine. You know what's funny about the, the streaming wars that are happening? If you think about it, just cut your cut the, the cable cord, which I think some people have a difficulty doing. Cut the cable cord, and if you pay... For four streaming services, it'll probably still be less than a cable box. I'm just saying. and But you actually can pick what you want to watch. But the thing is, though, people are, most people are dumb. <laughs> they, they're not going to understand that when you explain it to them. And I'm sure gonna, I'm going to have to explain it to various people when I have conversations. I'm all, just get rid of your cable box. How much are you paying for your cable? Box or whatever the fuck. Oh, I'm at fucking eighty dollars. Okay, so just get basic internet. Just get your like normal internet, which will probably run you about fifty to sixty bucks. And then you're just gonna pay for the streaming services you want. Okay, which all run, you know, around ten bucks or less. And just pick a couple, and you're golden. You get to pick whatever the fuck you want to watch. You're good. Um, I'm probably gonna. I don't know. I might get HBO Max. I don't know. If they put the Snyder Cut on it. <laughs> we'll see. 
Disney Plus, I don't really want to get, but I kind of do want to get because I'm intrigued by some of those Marvel shows. Not all of them, but I'm intrigued by some, so I actually might do it just to see. Do reviews, you know? That's what I do. And it's a tax write-off. <laughs> oh, I make funnies, but it's true. It's true. It's a tax write-off. I gotta literally write off that 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 thing. It's not like it. It's not like. Trust me, it's not. I have to write off a bunch of shit just to get like a, a just to get somewhat of a return. That's what that that that's another thing about you know, especially when these fuckers claim that I'm like always uh, that I'm just trying to uh, get clout and this that and this. I'm making money off the stuff. It's like yeah, okay, okay. I make I make a little small chunk. Of my income monthly, but guess what? It's not taxed. I still gotta fucking go to my tax guy and just write off a bunch of shit just so I can get somewhat of a return. Sometimes I don't, I don't even get a return off of my stuff, so fuck off. Uh, Elmo. Elmo I, what? 62? Okay. Regarding the Snyder Cut, would you be writing a letter to the new CW CEO? No. Um, I don't take part with the letter writing stuff or the phone call stuff. I don't do that. What I do is I talk about it here. Microphone, camera, that's where I talk about it. I don't do the, the campaign stuff like that. But I'm not going to tell you or anybody else to not do it either, okay? I know some of these guys say that I do that, but I don't. Um, uh, can I give some criticism? Absolutely, okay? And a lot of these guys, they can't stand criticism. It's one of the things they cannot stand. It's criticism. I've, you know, doing doing YouTube for years. Yeah, I've I developed a thick skin for criticism. It's fine. Some of these guys are soft. They're super fucking soft. Uh, Gabriel Mall, he asks, any chance we might see Joe Magnello's Deathstroke fight Pattinson's Batman? I just want to see Deathstroke in action. Oh, man, I doubt we're going to see that. It'd be awesome, though. I mean, I still, I mean, like if, Eric, if I can go into Earth 2 without your fucking limitations, I want to see the movie that Ben Affleck was going to make with that. Oh, guess what? Eric asked another question. Hey, Dave, last week I did a poll. Would people prefer Zach producing slash overseeing the completion of his arc with other folks directing those two films? Or Zach returning to direct new DCEU films but not finish his arc? My God, you're like fucking Jigsaw. <laughs> you have these fucking rules, man, that are almost impossible. What a play game. That's what you are, Eric. Jesus. Snyder cut either way. What say you? I'd rather have him oversee. I want to see the completion of the story arc. I'd rather him oversee, produce, because he would still be heavily involved in all that. He'd still have his fingers into that. As much as I would like to see him do, like, another, you know, property, but, no, I think I'd rather see him oversee. I mean, look at look at the original Star Wars. Everybody just goes, yeah, George Lucas, look at that Star Wars trilogy. I'm like, yeah, but he didn't write or direct Empire or Jedi. That's why Empire's so good. <laughs> I always say that to people. I always ask, what's your favorite Star Wars? You know, I mean, nine times out of ten, it's Empire. And I go, yeah, you know why? Because George Lucas didn't write or direct that movie. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I mean, he's talented, but not that talented. <laughs> you know, he's not the greatest. So, but I mean, I'm not saying that about Snyder. I'm sure, the, well, these guys are going to fucking somehow spin it for that. Um, no, I'm just saying that. I would, he'd still have his fingers in it because Lucas still had his fingers in that stuff, into the process. Even though somebody else was directing and somebody else rewrote the scripts, you know, he still had his hands in it. But I still want to, I, I, I'd be happy with the graphic novel, man, of the whole story. Uh, Gabriel also asked, I'm currently writing my own screenplay for Man of Steel 2. Technically, Man of Steel 3. Um, where Martian Manhunter asked Clark to help him save his niece, who was taken, who's like, what, part of Young Justice, right? Who was taken um, by Lobo to War World. Ooh, Mongol and the rest of the universe knows about Clark after 
Justice League. Any chance you want to read it? If I'm finished? Yeah, man. Send it over. I'll give it a look. I wish I could write more. My God. I, I wrote four full-length screenplays. One of them survived a move I had. The others got demolished by water in a box. But one of them survived, and then I was trying to turn it into a novel, and then it stuck in my old computer that crashed. Ah, <sighs> fun times. Clay Talion! What are your fan casts of... Okay, stop it with the fan cast questions, guys. I can't answer on the spot. Yeah, he wants to know my fan cast for Catwoman in, in Poison Ivy, Gotham City Sirens, with Margot Robbie's uh, Harley Quinn. I saw some people going like, oh my god, because we got it covered, said there was a rumor that Rihanna would be uh, Poison Ivy. Um, fuck no. And not because she's black or whatever. What is she? She's like, she's part black. She's not full black. She's from Honduras, right? Or something? Or Barcelona? I don't know. I know she's Spanish, right? Um, she's gorgeous, but she cannot fucking act. She can't act. Watch Battleship. Watch Ocean's 8. I could not accept her as the hacker in Ocean's 8. It was horrible. She's not a good actress, so no. Do not cast her as fucking Poison Ivy. Ugh. I mean, as much as I want to see her in, you know, skimpy clothing, I can just go online for that. Uh, Matt... Matt uh, Mago 77 how long do you think Blu-rays will be around until everything just goes digital and streaming? I mean, they're barely around now, man. <laughs> they really are. They're barely around now. The technology is going to get there where, well, that's the thing, though. The streaming technology needs to emulate what you get with a Blu-ray. Because Blu-ray, you get a lot of bonus stuff. You also get, like, you know, steel books, art books. That's where Blu-rays are still surviving, is the fact that you can get these special editions and all these bonus features. So digital downloads need to have something similar to that. The thing is, though, they might not, they're, I don't know if they're ever going to fully go away. Because having the physical, having that, the physical stuff is great. I mean, look at books are still around. I, I have books. I love, I would not, I could not by no means buy an ebook. I can't do that. If I'm going to read a book or even a comic book, I have to have it physically in my hands. We're staring at too many goddamn screens. So hopefully, well, that's, I mean, it doesn't really make sense, the Blu-rays, because you stare at a screen. But I'm just saying that there still needs to be like a physicality, something that you can hold and look at that's not through a fucking screen. They're still there. Still going to have that. All right, guys, that's it right there. Thank you for the questions. You guys are awesome. I appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, hit that like thumbs up. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube. You can even subscribe to my SoundCloud that this is part of, too. If you just want to stream or download, go to SoundCloud. Up, um, The link is provided below. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Visit filmjunkie.com for my content and then uh, patreon if you want to help out and then shirts down below all right guys love you talk to you later